Today we're going to talk about conversions. You, a lot of times they'll give you feet and they'll say, how many inches do you have? Or they'll say, which is larger, so many yards or so many inches? So today we're going to start with a good way to make a conversion. It's important to remember that you want to always start with what you know or what you have. You're always going to multiply by your conversion. A conversion is a standard. A standard is something that is preset. There's always going to be 12 inches in a foot or 3 feet in a yard and you want to know your conversions and have them handy. And then you're going to want to cancel out what you have so that you end up with what you want. So when you multiply and you have the same thing on top and the same thing on bottom, those can cancel out. So we'll go through that in a minute. So we're going to go through our first example, and our first example says convert 14 feet to yards. So we know we have 14 feet. We're going to multiply by our conversion. Our conversion is 3 feet is equal to 1 yard. We're going to put our fraction bar. We always have our fraction bar in our conversion. But we're going to say, do we put the feet on top or do we put the yards on top? These are equal to each other. So if you understand that three feet is the same thing as one yard, you'll understand one over one is still one. One yard over three feet is the same thing as three feet over one yard. Which we pick to go on top and which we pick to go on bottom is going to depend upon what we want to cancel out. Remember, when we multiply across, whatever we have on top of this fraction bar and the bottom, if they're the same thing, feet over feet, they will cancel out or be equal to 1. So, feet, 14 feet, times, want to put the 3 feet on the bottom, so our feet will cancel out and put our 1 yard on top and will be equal to cancel, cancel. Now if you're used to doing fractions, you'll know that it's like an understood one under here. So we multiply fractions, we multiply going across. 14 times one yard is 14 yards. One times three is three. Four, three goes into 14, a total of four times with two left over, over our three, and we get four and two thirds of a yard. Okay, we're gonna try another one. <clears throat> this one says convert three miles to yards. So we start with what we have. We have three miles. And our conversion from miles to yards is one mile is equal to 1,760 yards. So we're going to multiply fraction bar. What we want is going to go on top. We want yards. And what we want to get rid of, or what we already have, is going to go on the bottom. And this is our standard. It's not going to change. We multiply across. Miles cancels with miles. 3 times 1,760. You can do the math. Five thousand two hundred and eighty yards. Okay, that's our second example. Now we're going to come to a question where they asked us to compare. They're going to say, which is which is bigger? Make a comparison. One and one half foot or sixteen inches? 
we can do it either way. We can turn everything into feet or we can turn everything into inches, but you have to have it the same in order to compare apples to apples or oranges to oranges, but you can't compare apples to oranges. So we're gonna deal with the first number first and we're gonna convert it to inches. One and one half foot. I'm gonna go ahead and say 1.5 feet times conversion. We know that there are 12 inches in a foot. All right, and so we're gonna take what we want, which is on top. We want to get to inches, 12 inches, and we're going to do what we want to get rid of or the feet on the bottom. So one foot is equal to 1.5 times 12, which is equal to 18 inches and our feet cancel and we end up with 18 inches. So on this side, if we rewrite our inequality, we get 18 inches compared to 16 inches and we know that 18 inches is greater than 16 inches, therefore one and one half foot is greater than 16 inches.